Hi Church, it's lovely to be with you today and to take some time in continuing to focus on our series of looking at relationships. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Vicky Warburn. I'm part of Audacious North and I'm part of the wellbeing team and the Extraordinary Families team. And so today I want us to take some time to think about how we develop relationships that help us to grow into who we are as people and children of God. And we're going to focus in on a verse from Proverbs, from Proverbs 27 verse 17, that says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And I think this verse highlights the incredible value of growing close relationships with other people. The key part for me in this verse is that one person is being used by God to help the other. It's that both pieces of iron working together in order to be sharpened. Relationships were never designed to be one way, but God honouring relationships are there to help us to grow each other to grow in Christ. So this verse is not about us pointing out perceived weaknesses in someone else. The sharpening that we're doing here must come with that heartfelt desire to help the other person and in that process to be sharpened ourselves. And you know, sometimes that sharpening isn't always going to feel particularly comfortable. And so because of that as well, we have to be wise in who we are sharpening with. And in another verse from Proverbs, in Proverbs 12 verse 16, it says, the righteous choose their friends carefully. So we do have to be thoughtful about the friends that we have in our lives. But when a faith-filled friend wants to help us to grow, we need to be vulnerable. And that takes courage. You can't do the one without the other, with vulnerability always comes courage. And to have an attitude of willingness and acceptance of the wisdom that that friend is putting into our lives. You know, I've been blessed with some amazing friendships since I became a Christian at the age of 16. And I know that God has positioned different people in church in my life, where there has been opportunities for challenging conversations, you know, sharing grief and sorrows and some of those really difficult times in life. And alongside that, those amazing spirit filled breakthroughs alongside a lot of fun and laughter. And those of you who know me know I, I definitely love to laugh. But one situation that springs to mind where this played out in my life was when I first went off to university and a close friend came and visited after I'd been there, maybe two or three weeks or so. And they had a gentle but challenging conversation with me about how I seemed to be interacting with the people that were around me. I seemed to have put up a bit of a protective shell, really, probably trying to survive in what was my first time away from home, knowing no one. And as a result, was becoming quite hard and certainly not vulnerable with the people that were around me. And so that conversation was critical for me in making sure I was embedded in a church during my uni years, joining a small group. And it was with an older couple from the church who took on a bit of a parental role for me, thankfully, and fed me once a week, which I was very grateful for. And also having other Christians alongside me, being that sharpening for one another through those key times in becoming an adult away from my family. And so what has been important for me throughout my life has been continuing to show up, being present in my friends' lives and having them present in mine, taking the risk of being vulnerable in friendships that I've chosen carefully and joining small groups in order to position myself to give God those opportunities to move. And so I want to encourage your church today to show up be present and vulnerable in each other's lives. God wants to use you to sharpen one another whilst you are sharpened yourself. And so I'm just gonna briefly pray for us all. Lord Jesus, I just thank you, God, for the relationships that you put in each of our lives. Lord, I pray for each of us today that we can be vulnerable with the people and those friendships that we have in our lives. Lord, that we can be used to sharpen one another and to be led by your spirit in the words of wisdom that we're putting into each other's lives. In your name, I pray all these things. Amen. So church, I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, hopefully see some of you soon at North location. Um, and um, it's been awesome to share with you this morning. Thanks guys.